how are you doing? I didn't know that you were in my kitchen. Well, I'm so glad to see you. Today, we're doing something really fun. It involves your tummies. It involves Easter. And it involves a disappearing marshmallow. Does anyone have any ideas? You wanna shout it out maybe? Nobody, no ideas? All right, well, let me tell you. Today, we are going to be making what I like to call empty two rolls. All right, guys, let me show you what we're working with today. So, like I said, we've got our marshmallows, absolutely delicious. We're gonna set these over here. Next up, we have a stick of butter. Next, we have ground cinnamon. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever had cinnamon before, but uh, it makes me sneeze. Next, we have everyone's favorite, let's be real, sugar. And last but not least, I'm cheating a little bit on this one because like I said, I'm not a great cook. We're gonna be using some croissant dough. Now, here's the thing. If you don't have croissant dough in your house and you wanna make these, that's okay. You can make the rolls just with flour and water and a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So if you're like, oh man, Miss Bella, I was so excited. We were gonna make this together and then you had to go drop the pre-made croissant dough on me. Don't worry. You can check out the recipe below and you can make these yourself at home. So let's go. Boom, all right, so. I don't know how many of you guys have used this before, but I wanna show you something kind of fun, okay? When I hit this right here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go like this, it's gonna explode. Are you guys ready? I know, it, it sounds like Mythbusters stuff, but watch this, ready? One, two, three, <gasps> boom, check that out, delicious. Okay, perfect. Okay guys, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna unroll them just like this. Oh, look at how cute they are. All right, what should we name this one? Maybe we'll name this one Billy. This one is Susie. This one is Croissant, you know, just to keep it French. And this one is um, Louis, also French. Okay, so we got Louis, Billy, Susie, whatever his name was over here. We got, maybe we'll do a Sarah for all of you Sarahs out there and maybe shout out a name you wanna hear one of our croissants to be called. I think someone said Toby. I like that name, that's a good name. That's actually the name of my dog. I'll show you guys him a little bit later. And we have one more. Let's call this one, Mm, let's call this let's call this one the tomb okay this is going to be the tomb for our empty tomb rolls just keeping the theme going um it's okay if they don't all fit right now because they're not going to be like this perfect all right next thing we're going to do we're going to grab our marshmallows all right so we've got all of our croissants laid out on a pan once again i'm cheating we are going to take Oh no, <laughs> you guys, the marshmallows are trying to escape. I think they know it's coming. All right, so we're gonna take our marshmallow and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. You're gonna take it and then you're gonna put it in this hand and then you're gonna put it in this hand and then you're, oh, I'm just kidding. I just threw it on the ground. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this marshmallow, you're gonna take your croissant in your hand. Once again, my hands are clean. You're gonna put the, little marshmallow right here. So like, just like that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, I believe this one is Toby. You're gonna take Toby and you're gonna roll the croissant around the marshmallow. Ah, well, hello. I'm uh, trying to do a French accent for our croissants. You're gonna take the butter, you guys. You're gonna peel it and you're gonna put it in some glass container. Now, what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna put it in the microwave. However, my microwave is really high up, so I might need a little boost from you guys. Ready, can you boost me up? One, two, three. Ooh, thank you guys. Definitely helped out. 
Now, I'm gonna microwave my butter for however long, just until it's melted. And once it's melted, I'll bring you guys back to what we're doing. All right, here's our melted butter. Now, this is what you have to do. You're gonna take the glass and then you're gonna drink the rest of the butter. Ready? I'm just kidding, I got you. Okay, next thing you're gonna do, you can take any type of plate or container. You're gonna take your cinnamon. Let's see, your cinnamon, and we're gonna put it on a plate. Do, 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 just like that. Take your sugar right here. And it doesn't matter how much you get, but you're gonna put some sugar on the plate as well. And then with your clean hands, you're gonna mix it around just like that. All right, so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna take your little tune. I think this one is uh, Susie. And you're gonna take Susie and what you're gonna do is you're gonna dip half of Susie into that melted butter. Delicious, right? And then let me show you guys what you're gonna do next. Then after you've dipped it, you're gonna take Susie and you're just gonna put her in the cinnamon and sugar and then you're gonna throw her right back on the pan. I wanted to talk to you guys about Easter. Now we all know Easter is coming up, right? Um, it's this Sunday, which is super fun. I love Easter. Everything about Easter is super awesome to me. Um, but does anyone know why we celebrate Easter? Is it because Easter bunnies are really cool? Is it because we want a holiday just to celebrate candy? Is it because, hmm, I'm stumped. Does anyone know? Go ahead and shout it out. If you're at home, shout out, why do we celebrate Easter? Okay, okay, we got some good guesses, good ideas. If any of you said it's to celebrate Jesus's resurrection, you're absolutely right. On Easter Sunday, Jesus Christ was risen from the dead. So he died on Friday. The Bible tells us he died on the cross. And he did it, you guys, not because he had to, but because he wanted to. Because he wanted to save us. Because we are sinners and Jesus isn't. Jesus never did anything wrong. He's perfect because he's God. And because of that, he wanted to save us. He wanted to save us so that we could be with him forever, which is so crazy. And last week, we talked a tiny bit about that in our teaching video. We talked about how Jesus died so that we could be with him forever. By the way, they're done. I'm going to pop them in the oven. We're going to put it at 350 for around 10 to 15 minutes. In they go. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start cleaning stuff up. Um, after I wash my hands, we're all good. But let's continue to talk about Jesus. So Jesus died for us on the cross to save us. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't think I'd wanna worship a God who just died, right? I don't think anything wants to worship anyone who's dead. And that's the awesome thing, you guys. We don't worship a God that's dead. We worship a God that's alive. And not just alive, but a God who conquered death. He said, I'm going to die for you, but I'm going to rise again. All right, guys, so it's been a little while. I think they're ready to be taken out, making sure I'm not going to burn my hands. Let's take out our empty tomb rooms. Wow. All right, guys, here are our delicious empty tomb rolls. All right, everybody, as you can see, these are our rolls. Now I want to show you something really cool. When Jesus died, he was put into a tomb. Now, just like we have our croissant here and we put a marshmallow into the middle of it, Jesus was put into a cave. Now, three days later, he rose from the dead. His disciples came and saw, and you know what they saw, you guys? They saw that the tomb was empty. <gasps> I'm 
I'm pretty sure we put a marshmallow in here. Does, does anyone else remember that? Let's see. Maybe we'll try a different one. Maybe we messed up with this one. Let's see. Do you guys see? You guys, the marshmallow disappeared just in the same way that Jesus disappeared from his tomb. He conquered death. How cool is that, you guys? What an amazing thing that we get to celebrate together. Now, I'm going to include the recipe for our empty tomb rolls down below. And together with your parents, maybe you can make them out. Dancing while I'm waiting for my empty tomb rolls. I'm dancing while I'm waiting for my empty tomb rolls. I'm dancing and I'm not wearing shoes. For I'm waiting for my empty tomb rolls.